Now it's like, oh, do you want the disappointment of the buffalo chicken spring roll or do you want the disappointment of the cheeseburger spring roll? Ahoy hoy everyone, it's Craig back at Magic Kingdom with another Disney dining review. Before I get started, I need to remind you that this dining review is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. If you like our content, you want to support us, please consider booking your next Walt Disney World vacation through Dreams Unlimited Travel. It costs you no extra money and you get that world-class Dreams Unlimited Travel agent support. So get a free no obligation quote today at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. If you watch a lot of our dining reviews or listen to them, then you probably can pinpoint pretty much where I am at Magic Kingdom. I'm in my favorite spot uh, that is basically the overflow seating for Tortuga Tavern and Pecos Bill in Adventureland. And that is because once again, I have food from Adventureland. And I'm doing a dance that I didn't think I'd ever do again. Now, uh, I am not a fan of the spring roll cart that sits right outside of Adventureland. I think I made that clear the last time I got the spring rolls. I like the pizza one, the cheeseburger one, not a fan of. And just overall, they're too expensive. $9.50, just outrageous. But there's, there's a buffalo chicken one that's on the menu right now. And I was asked to come and try them and I can't just say no to that. So that's why I'm now sitting here in Adventureland with buffalo chicken spring rolls in front of me. Again, same deal as they were before as they have been. You get two spring rolls for $9.50. You can have one of each, which right now the options are cheeseburger spring rolls as well as the other one is the buffalo chicken, so they got rid of the pizza one, which that's a bummer for me because if I had to have them, that's the one I'd want, but maybe I'll feel that way about the, the buffalo chicken spring rolls here. And it does come with a dipping sauce as well too. Ken's Buttermilk Ranch. I'm not gonna lie, something about this just feels extremely cheap by giving me a side of Ken's Ranch. I, I don't know, even putting it in their own plastic ramekins just Something like that makes it feel like, oh, maybe this has the potential of being homemade, but this is just blatant, like, hey, we think ranch goes with this, so we'll throw it in on the side. And as for the buffalo chicken spring rolls, you know, they look like they're really packed. When I cut them in half, you know, I'm seeing it just loaded to the brim with chicken. Looks like there's some celery thrown in there, uh, and then a mixture of buffalo sauce and cheese. And visually, they seem like they're really uh, appealing little protein bombs, but I don't know if it's gonna taste good. It might need the ranch. And if it's bad ranch, I'm not gonna be wild about it because I'm, I'm kind of a snob when it comes to ranch. And I'm just not, I'm gonna let that go for another day and we'll talk about that at another time. But here we go, buffalo chicken spring roll. So far, it's wildly underwhelming. If it's a buffalo chicken spring roll, the first thing I'm going to want to taste, besides chicken, I think that goes without being said, is buffalo sauce. And this just is completely lacking in buffalo sauce. It's, I, you know, now I'm looking at it thinking maybe it's the orange on there. Maybe that's just part of the cheese that they put in it. It sure is not buffalo sauce. I don't, maybe I got a random batch that they forgot about it, but I don't think I don't think that's the case. So there's no level of spiciness to this at all. There's not even a level of spice. It's kind of like bland chicken shoved in a shell and deep fried. And that's kind of what it's like. But I'll give it another shot here. This time with some ranch. I haven't had Ken's ranch in a while, so I was just grumpy and like, I don't like Ken's ranch. It might be good ranch. We're gonna find out here. I apologize for my grumpiness. Ken's Ranch wasn't that bad. It's actually pretty good, at least with the spring roll. And another good part of this bite that I had is that I am finally starting to get a little bit of buffalo sauce, but still nowhere near enough. Not even close to enough. I'm hoping that changes for the second one and 
this first one was truly a fluke, but I don't have high hopes now. First bite in on my second spring roll, and it is the same story as the first one. It is just chicken, like a cheesy chicken deep fried roll up, which I guess it's not too bad. Maybe, I mean, throw a little ranch on it, throw a little hot sauce, because they're not gonna give you buffalo sauce. So if there's anywhere around here that has hot sauce, maybe throw some of that on. Actually get some of the flavors that you're looking for with it. I don't know, ketchup even? I, I, I don't know, some, something needs to happen with this though, because this is just, it's plain, it's bland, and just really, really disappointing. And you know, as, as a cheesy chicken roll up, I guess it's not the worst, but as what it's advertised to be, a buffalo chicken spring roll. This is just, just not it. It is not it at all. And that's really, really disappointing considering if you were gonna get one of the two spring rolls, of course, I always recommended the pepperoni pizza spring roll, but now that that's not even on there, now it's like, oh, do you want the disappointment of the buffalo chicken spring roll, or do you want the disappointment of the cheeseburger spring roll? And they're both pretty disappointing. Ah, I'm gonna finish. Maybe I'll feel different by the time I'm done, but ah. Mm. Let's start with the positives. It was extremely filling. And I'm walking away from it definitely being full. And that's a good thing, even from a snack, you know? Not, I, I still wouldn't consider the spring rolls a full meal replacement, but as a snack, I'm walking away from it extremely satisfied with how much actually was packed in those. It was, it was a hearty little spring roll, a lot better than my other times here. Uh, I, I still don't think the quality and the flavor warrants the $9.50 price for it, but I, I do think that this was a lot closer to justifying the price in terms of just the amount that you're getting as a whole. And for the bad things, yeah, it's just, it really, really, really wants to do a tango with a complete lack of flavor because it's just, it's just so bland. And I don't think it's just the, the state of I'm in right now, the state of the world and the state I'm in, why I'm not tasting it. It's just, it, it was missing something. The chicken didn't seem like it was seasoned. There wasn't like enough cheese for that to dominate. There was no buffalo sauce again. Like, <laughs> like that's what should have been the dominating flavor and it wasn't, it was just not there. And so the main thing you're tasting is the grease from the actual spring rolls and then ranch to really try to do something to take this to the next level. It was just, it was not worth it. Then that's all I'm going to say about it. If you love spring rolls, I, I'm so happy for you. The Magic Kingdom spring rolls are a favorite for so many people. They're just clearly not for me. So hopefully this is the last time I have to review it because I don't want, I don't want to be negative. I love buffalo chicken. Like a buffalo chicken quesadilla is one of my favorite meals that I can have. I, I love it. So I was going into this hoping for a nice new buffalo chicken dish that I could really, really be a fan of and, and get behind when I'm in Magic Kingdom. And, this just was not it at all. And yeah, it's a bummer. But if you have it and like it, I'm very, very happy for you. But that's going to do it for this Disney dining review. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did and you want to support us because you like us, please consider booking your next vacation through Dreams Unlimited Travel. Again, you can get a free no obligation quote at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. Also, make sure you hit the thumbs up, the like button on this video, hit subscribe, and then leave comments, questions, and video suggestions in the comments section below. But that's going to do it for me here at Magic Kingdom. I hope you enjoyed it. See you again real soon. Take care and bye-bye.